And speaking of masks, many people are finding a way to help their community without leaving their home. And Laverne Phelps is one example of someone using her incredible talent to make a difference. Let me show you how. That is the sound you hear in Laverne Phelps Palm City home, eight to 10 hours a day. This retired home economics teacher who's been sewing for 60 plus years <laughs> spends her free time making face masks, then gives them away to medical professionals who need them. It's designed after the N95 mask. It fits either under or over. This idea started with Laverne needing a mask herself. I do have a lung disorder and I tried to go online to see if I could possibly find some masks and, and as with everything else, of course, there was none. So I decided why not make some. So she got to work. Line them up. That's the reason for the, the squares. Get everything right. And then I put the elastic and pin it in. She even recruited her husband, Jim, to help. Then she said, you know, if you would just pin this in and then turn them around for me, you're going to speed it up. And I think we've got it down to about 20, 25 minutes per mask. In a matter of weeks, Laverne and Jim have made over 300 face masks, and they have no plans of stopping. I have kind of an abundance. Wow, you're your own Joanne Fabrics. Right, that's, <laughs> they tease me about that. Clearly, she has plenty of fabric and time, she says, but Laverne is short on elastic. We have had to resort to this thinner elastic because that's all I had here. I had a big 144-yard bolt of the quarter inch, but used it up, as you can see, being over four, 300 masks. And this probably is not going to be as sturdy, but it's still going to be very useful. I try to backstitch over the elastic to make sure it's in there good and secure. Okay. That's the mask. Since Laverne and Jim are safer at home, volunteers have stepped in to distribute the masks. Some are now being worn by staff at Hematology and Oncology Associates of the Palm Beaches and at a Boynton Beach nursing home. And 100 were mailed to New York City to help doctors and nurses on the front lines there. They are the true heroes, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm making them because I don't want to get out there and get that. I just hope everybody else is staying put in their ho homes as well. Laverne's masks are washable and they can fit over, as she said, or under other medical masks. If you know of medical professionals who are in need of a mask, message me on my Facebook page, Kelly Dunn WPTV. If you can help Laverne by supplying some much needed quarter inch elastic, she would greatly appreciate it. Let me know and I'll hook you two up. She's Kelly, doing a great job. Uh, Kelly, I love that story. <laughs> it's such a story of caring and can do, and yeah. we're seeing so much of it. Thank you very much, and thanks to them.